might suggest that His Royal Highness Prince William is not possibly having the very best of weeks. Now, with this particular latest attack, let me explain. Hi, good morning. How are you? Nice to see you today. Do you want to wave? Isn't it beautiful, by the way, with the Parliament building behind me? I like it when it's just like this light level because you can really see a lot of the wonderful architecture. And I don't know if you're like me like this. Do you ever look up and think, how did they get that on there? Who was the person that placed that final, you know, piece of uh, cement or whatever? Is it right? That's it. Yeah, I climbed out now. I do look at the, am, we, am I odd? No. Yeah. What do you mean you are, Neil? Yes. But you know what I mean? You look at those older buildings and in the technology today, you'd have a crane or something, wouldn't you? Somebody somewhere had to put it up. Brave person. Back as ever, though, to your breaking roll story of the day. I don't know about you, but as I've said to you before, I get very angry with people who have, you know, basically done incredibly well out of their association with the monarchy. And then when it's their turn to show support, seemingly can't be bothered, you know? I do find that very annoying indeed. Now, step forward with this particular gentleman, Adol Ray. Now, he's had a very successful career, but always keen to point out his difficult start in life, you know, obviously from an immigrant family, and they developed and pushed up and developed very well. He himself has done incredibly well. He hit the hot spot by creating a character and having a hit BBC TV comedy series. A lot of people enjoyed it, and you would have thought he would have been grateful for that. Things really escalated. He then moved over to ITV and reinvented himself on the Little Watch Breakfast TV show GMB. Now, this is the breakfast show we've told you about before, where many of the hosts can't really control their disdain for the British monarchy. This is the breakfast show, of course, that uh, Meghan Markle managed to lose that particular individual their main job. It's also the show where Ranveer Singh was very, very dismissive of exactly what our late and wonderful monarch of 70 years actually did on a day-to-day -day basis. You get and see how thick they really are. But once again, it appears that Adol Ray, who received an OBE from His Royal Highness Prince William, no less, basically stated on social media that he felt that Prince William, and I'm putting this in nicer terms, uh, should have gone out to support the recent Lionesses football tournament out in Sydney. Now, you know, once again, what you have to say is this particular individual is always looking for attention, always stoking the fires to make sure that people notice him, particularly in the fickle world of breakfast TV, where if you don't ramp up that social media content and indeed get relevant followers, then you could be facing the axe. Trust me, I've been there, I've seen it, I know how it works. But you would have thought, would you not, that this particular individual, given such a prestigious honour of an OBE directly from Prince William, may have actually kept his thoughts personal, perhaps not tweeted them out or indeed gone on social media, or simply just offered a bit of support. It doesn't seem to matter what you do with these particular individuals. They're never grateful, they're never happy. And one wonders, I would suspect in the olden days, if you turned against someone like the future King of England, so vocally, so publicly, on such a major platform, would you be still allowed to keep said award? Personally, I think you know my feelings. I'd love to know what you think to this particular story in the comments below, truly, because I do think it's just disrespectful. Why say anything at all if you can't say anything kind? Do let me know. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.